So last Saturday night I watched UCLA play USC. I watched every play of a 50 to nothing game. There's something glorious about losing 50 to nothing to your arch rivals. First of all, I love Rick Neuheisel. I wanted him to succeed. But when your job is on the line and they're like, all right, it's yes or no, let's see how you do against SC, your arch rival, and you lose 50 to nothing. I think the decision was essentially made uh, pretty easy there for Dan Guerrero. Uh, there's also something just glorious about the score. Like if they'd lost 60 to three, it wouldn't be that big a deal. But 50 to nothing, I will always remember when SC beat UCLA 50 to nothing. So now the Bruins are trying to hire a coach. And there's talk about Boise State's Chris Peterson, he'd be a great fit. Uh, let me make this very clear. There is no way Chris Peterson comes to UCLA. Inconceivable, not a chance. He will turn them down. They'll offer him a lot of money, he'll realize, I have a better job. I, going 11 and one here at Boise State is better than, eh, look at this, we went eight and four. Not a chance. Other candidates, they're talking about Kevin Sumlin at Houston, that's exciting, we don't have a quarterback, but he should take a job now before Kasem leaves. Uh, is that the quarterback's name? Case Keenum. Case Keenum, I knew that was wrong. Casey Kasem. What'd you say? Probably. Casey Kasem? Kasem, that's what I meant. Before Case Keenum leaves, uh, because we'll have to see how successful that offense is once Keenum is gone. Um, but we may get Kevin Sumlin, I, I have no idea. Or we, but Mike Leach today went to Washington State because Washington State is a more attractive job than UCLA, which is stunning. So we're not gonna get Chris Peterson. I don't know who we're gonna end up, my hunches are gonna end up with our former defensive coordinator, Dwayne Walker, who I like, who probably should have been hired in the first place years ago when we brought in Neuheisel, and best of luck to him. Chris Peterson, not coming. Now, UCLA is playing Oregon in the Pac-12 championship game. I think it's safe to say that in the history of league championship games, there has never been a spread larger than the UCLA-Oregon spread, which opened on Monday, or Sunday, at 30 and a half, then moved to 31 and a half, then Rick and I saw yesterday it was 32. And hey, guess what, Rick? The money's coming back on UCLA. It's down to 31 and a half. Ah. Yeah, all of a sudden, uh, my hunch is in this game, with the pressure off of Neuheisel and no real incentive for Oregon, that the Bruins will cover 31 and a half points and lose this game like 45 17. Are you betting on it? If I, ha if I had to bet on it, I would bet UCLA. But you're not going to. No, because they could lose 70 to nothing. They're. Horrible. Not 70 to three? <laughs> yeah, let's kick a field goal this time. Yeah. So, uh, but I love the fact that it's the championship game and it's 31 and a half points. Come on, 31. 30, when it was 30 and a half, betters were like, oh man, there's value in Oregon. And 30 and a half in a league championship game. This is, it's a disaster at UCLA. It's a total football disaster. But the good news is, the, the basketball team, everything's okay.